Hey guys, Smith here. Thanks for tuning in. If you like Animal Crossing, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. So, you've been asked to play this game called Animal Crossing that you've heard of, but of course you have no idea how to play it. Well, I'm here to give you the absolute beginner's guide for Animal Crossing. Okay, so here is the basic of the game. Create a custom character, and that character gets shipped out to a deserted island that's being spun as a getaway package. Only you get there and you find out that this island is deserted and there's absolutely nothing but trees, a beach, a campground, and a tent. The point of the game is to explore, create, and customize your own little paradise island. So, let's get to it. Now there are five characters that you'll meet at the beginning of the game. Tom Nook, he's the founder and the president of Nook Inc, which is a travel agency. His sons, Timmy and Tommy, which are his assistants and help to guide you through the game. And you also get to meet two villagers that come and live on the island with you. Now a note here, there are 402 recruitable villagers, so if you're playing with somebody, it's not very likely that you will all have the same characters. Okay, after Tom Nook gives everybody a briefing on the island, you'll be put to your first task, placing a home. You'll start out with a tent that will later be upgraded to a house. Now take your time in placing your tent, because although you can move it in the future, it's going to run you $30,000 uh, bells. Tom Nook will ask you to do a couple of other tasks to get ready for a campfire that night and then you'll all sing a song and that will be your first night. The next day you're going to spend most of your time gathering resources to sell and donate. Start your day off by talking to Tom Nook and see what he has if there's any tasks for you. On day two, he will mention a character named Blathers who is a museum curator and has just moved to the island. He's going to ask you to bring him some things that he can exhibit in his museum, like fish, bugs, fossils. So before you sell anything, make sure that Blathers doesn't need it for his museum. Most beginners make this mistake of selling items that are meant to complete tasks and that will slow down your advancing in the game. You will need resources to craft tools to fish, dig, chop, and capture. The tools that you will need are a fishing pole, a shovel, an axe, and a net. In order to craft, you need DIY recipes, do-it-yourself recipes. They are needed in order to craft anything in the game, whether it's tools, furniture, or whatever kind of item. Tom Nook will give you a few DIY recipes to start off with. You can also find some while shaking trees, in message bottles at the beach, or in a gift box that's floating in the sky. You'll need a slingshot to pop the balloon. The slingshot and other useful items can be purchased with bells in the ATM machine in Tom Nook's tent. Here is the rundown of how to do basic tasks. How to fish. Walk up to the edge of a body of water and cast your fishing line in front of the fish that you are trying to catch. Now it has to be directly in front of him, but not too far. Wait for the fish to turn towards the line and then he will start nibbling at it. Now normally he nibbles at it three times and on the third time you'll watch the hook drop underneath the water and you will hold down your catch button, whatever that is on your device uh, on my Nintendo Switch, it's the A button. And while your character struggles with the fish, eventually he will pull it up out of the water and then you'll have your catch. Capturing Bugs. This task utilizes the net. You can catch both crawling and flying insects with the net. Basically, walk up to the thing and you swipe your net. Now the angle of the game makes it kind of hard to guess where you and the thing that you're trying to catch are lined up. So what I do is I move the camera by adjusting your thumbstick. Chopping wood. There are three different types of wood in the game. Softwood, hardwood, and regular wood. You get wood by hacking at the trunk of the trees. Now each tree will only drop 
a total of three pieces of wood and if there are weeds surrounding the trees the wood will not drop because there's no space so a way to get around that is to clear the base of your tree free of the weeds now one thing that you want to watch out for while shaking and hacking at trees is the wasp nest a wasp nest can drop down and the only way to get away from them is to outrun them but they're pretty fast you would have to literally run inside a building to avoid them but you can also if you're quick enough use your net to swipe at the wasps and uh, catch them if you do get attacked you're gonna want to walk and talk to one of the villagers who will freak out when they see your bubbled up face but they will offer you a recipe to make some medicine now a note here fruit trees do not drop wasp nests at some point in the game Tom Nook will want to start talking about money and how you're going to pay for your getaway package and the house and everything else well he's gonna throw out a ridiculous number but then start to talking about how you can pay in Nook Mouse. Nook Mouse work like a rewards program where you get rewarded mouse for every task that you complete in the Nook Mouse menu screen. Eventually you rack up enough mouse to pay for your trip but you can keep earning and spending mouse and redeeming them at the ATM machine located in Tom Nook's tent. As you progress through the game you'll be asked to help out with tasks that will assist Tom Nook in improving the island. He'll ask you to do things like collect wood in order to upgrade your tent into a house, collect more wood in order to build Timmy and Tommy a workshop, produce wood stakes to help build a bridge across the river, you know, things like that. There are different events that take place, like fishing tournaments where you can catch fish in exchange for prizes like exclusive items and furniture. Now most people will tell you that the goal of the game, if there is a goal, is to have a character named Isabel rate your island and achieve a five-star rating. That's where you have lots of buildings, nice landscaping, some pathways, maybe a little terraforming and neat decor. Try to add friends in the game and visit their islands to trade recipe cards. You can also search Facebook and Reddit for trading groups. Before I close up this video, I want to give you guys daily tasks that you should be completing every day in order to advance through the game. I'll probably do another video on this providing more details, but for now, I'll just name what they are. Number one, just about every day there's a message bottle that appears at the beach, and that message bottle will contain a DIY recipe that you can add to your collection. So look for that message bottle at the beach every day. Number two, look for the glowing bag of 1,000 bells in the ground so that you can plant your money tree. Now I'm going to make another video about the money trees, but for now you can probably Google it or look at Reddit and, uh, and find out more about it there. Number three, hit rocks, shake and chop trees and fish to collect resources. This is something you need to be doing every day in order to build up your resources. Number four, talk to Tom Nook and the rest of the characters on your island every day to see if there's any tasks that you should be completing. Number five, Make sure you take those fossils in the ground to Blathers to get them access so that you can help fill up his museum. As I said, there's lots of helpful resources out there like on Reddit and Facebook groups. Let me know if this video helped you out and if you don't mind sharing this to some of your social media sites so that it can help others too.